Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday the 13th. Hey, the sun's back today, but it stays cold. But cold snap's not going to last too long. Let's get in there and take a look out the window early this morning at the somewhat insane hour of 5 a.m. We'll start with this guy came down in Chilton County in Clanton. Seems like everybody's down in the uh, mid-20s this morning. Pretty uh, homogenous temperatures. Still kind of windy, so the uh, wind chill index is, uh, in most cases, somewhere between 17 and 22. There's the Inverness Sky Cam overlooking U.S. 280 in South Jefferson and North Shelby counties. And from in, uh, Huntsville, we are watching the Sky Cam there because we had some icy spots on that highway uh, last night. That is Memorial Parkway, U.S. 231 and U.S. 431. And, uh, boy, nobody out there this morning. Not a widespread issue, but uh, many of the schools up there are opening two hours late because of that uh, problem. All right, there's the uh, water vapor satellite shot. Got the big trough over the east. And there's those numbers we talked about. Everybody in the mid-20s, very uh, consistent readings across the state because of the wind. But tomorrow morning, the wind should be calm, and we'll begin to see that big variation we often see on a clear, calm morning here. And around the nation, yeah, winter is back. Everybody uh, griping about the la lack of cold. Well, there you go. But for us, it will be a quick-hitting shot as the uh, pattern just doesn't favor any long-lasting cold snaps here. There's the watch warning map, winter weather advisories to the north. A few winter storm warnings around the lake effect snow belts and down south freeze issues for parts of Florida and south Texas. And there's the rain for the next five days, valid through Tuesday evening of next week. Suggesting amounts uh, about three-quarters of an inch around the shoals, down to nothing for Dothan. And the better chance of rain next week will come Monday night and Tuesday, as you'll see. Let's go through the GFS. This is the 06Z run at noon today. There's the trough coming up through the northeast. Down below that, we are just cold and dry. Uh, both the GFS and the NAM are showing a high of 43. Uh, tomorrow, we'll start the day well down in the 20s again, but we warm up into the mid-50s by afternoon. And Sunday, mid to upper 50s with a sunny sky. So again, three sunny days in a row. That's good. But Monday of next week, clouds come back. We might mention a chance of a shower Monday afternoon for West Alabama. Maybe Monday night statewide. And Tuesday, a passing cold front brings a chance of showers. Maybe some thunder in there. Uh, but... Obviously, that's not a severe weather look. And then Wednesday of next week, troughing over the east, a broad trough, and that will bring down some colder air. And if that's right, highs go back in the 40s for a day. But you know the deal. It warms right back up on Thursday of next week. We go back in the 50s, and the GFS wants to bring the next impulse in here a week from today, uh, Friday the 20th, with some chance of light rain, if that's right. We'll go deeper in the month. How about January 26th? The GFS has been pretty persistent in this idea. A, a trough to the west with a chance of uh, showers and maybe some thunder in there. And a couple of days later, it's quiet. Then again, no cold air. And there's the NAO. That's the one we're watching there on the top. Uh, it's, this is the ensemble outlook. And uh, you can see a few members of that ensemble want to bring it strongly negative, but most of them... Keep it above the uh, neutral line. Uh, and again, I think it will flip. I think we'll see a pattern flip before the season is over. We almost always do, uh, which means it could be the coldest winter, uh, coldest air this winter season this year could be late in the season. So uh, we'll just see how it goes there. We'll keep an eye on that. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you live around here, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.